Hello, ladies. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. That was pretty bad, but I've had worse. You know, ah, tough guy. Jimmy Hart is supposed to be managing this tour, but it seems like he's lost control of some of the legends. You don't say. I think you're right, Mommy. It looks like I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands. So, yes. what are you gonna do about Steve Austin and Mankind? Next week in New York City is your last chance to settle this. That crazy Mankind reached into his pants, grabbed a sock, and shoved it right down your throat. Would you like to reenact that for us? Yuck! That is so gross. Oh, sorry. I think he deserves a little payback next week. Yeah, but Stone Cold's just as guilty. Plus, he's meaner. He is a big like fat meanie. get another chance to face a legend like him. Who says it's got to be an either-or choice? What do you mean? Really, Tori? Maybe I can only get one official match sanctioned for next week. But that doesn't mean I can't find one of those jokers somewhere else beforehand and get a little payback. I like your plan. Me too. So, who's it gonna be? Uh, what are the options? Oh great, we have to read. Ugh. Someone do it for me. I'm going to close my eyes and listen. And when you're done, I'm going to pick one. I'm listening. Oh, wait, you were done, weren't you? Of course. <laughs> Somehow we got paid for that. Let's not ask questions. We're going to take that damn money and run. So it sounds like we're going to be fighting Stone Cold and Mankind this time, but one of them is going to be in a sanction match and the other isn't. But, since I didn't look at the screen, I don't know what they're going to be. Oh damn, we got a barroom brawl with Austin. Now how fitting is that? The drunk guy is in a bar. He's probably getting drunk to the sad fact that he'll never have Tori and Christy on his arm like Eddie does. Uh, I would offer you wise words of encouragement, but we're here to return the beatdown you gave us last time. So here's to you. Somehow Austin's already ready for this fight. But it's not going to matter in a fight against the best to ever do it. Eddie's going to beat him so bad that all the beer in this bar won't be enough to help him forget it. What? what what's that? I don't, I, I don't know what's happening right now. He's throwing him into that sign, but <laughs> he's T-posing. I don't get it. <laughs> Eddie with Austin. He drags him over to that sign and smashes it with his face. Latino Heat is prepared for a fight. And Austin does not look to be. He's thrown into that jukebox. And again. How about one more time? There it is. Followed by a brilliant back suplex. Yeah, that's right, Rattlesnake. After making us have to sell that ungodly stunner and have to endure that horrible speech about not earning your respect. This is what you deserve. Just, uh, gotta do something to him first. There you go. Latino Heat's keeping the fight going. And so too is Austin, if only for a moment. Now Eddie with control. They go back and forth. Again and again. And Eddie finally gets him. But Steve still has a lot of fight in him. Even though he has an orange body. And gets ran into the damn jukebox. Eddie is just having his way with this man. Oh wait, what's happening now? Austin's on the counter. And he goes for a ride. That should look kind of fun too. <laughs> you might want to do it again. <laughs> what would you even call that? A bar slide? All right, Steve, not looking so good. Maybe a little bit better now, but not for long. He's rammed into his favorite drinks and Eddie makes sure he gets some more. And here it comes. Eddie's gonna end the match now with the lasso from El Paso. Let's just hope it works this time like it did with Brett, the Canadian quitter. Tap out. Come on. Oh shit, he escaped. Well, we still have a finisher, and he has a red body. And now that I think about it, there's no way to hit the frog splash in here. Right? Eddie takes control. But Austin... Yeah, he tried it. Now here goes Eddie. With whatever the hell that is. He goes for the cover. Come on, ref. One, this is it. Two, three. And that, my friends, is the end of Steve Austin on this Legends Tour. Say it, Tony. There you go. Yeah. Now, uh, we gotta get our minds prepared for the other match. 
you know, against the guy in the leather mask. The one that reached into his pants, pulled out that dirty ass, nasty ass sock, and stuck it down Eddie's throat. That one. We'll never forget that, and we'll never forgive him for it. This brawl is gonna be in the parking lot. That means we get to run him down like we did Teddy all those months ago. Now mind you, that hasn't been proven yet, but that's my theory. There's only one dude on this roster that we've ever seen drive his own car. Come on, put the pieces together. Alright, here they go. Being a little cautious. Mankind gets booted into the window. Damn, what a way to start this off. Keep it up, Latino Heat. Now Eddie's got some plans in mind. But Mick is resisting. Resist all you want, wide man. It's not going to work for long. Here we go again. What's this? Body slam? No, he rams him into the door. Eddie's doing good work right now, man. you think he might be a little slow after that fight with Austin, but oh hell no. He slams Mick's head into the hood and oh shit. Okay, that was crazy. I'm impressed with what I'm seeing so far. Keep it up. Detective Eddie's got something in mind, but Mick resists to no avail. Yeah, remember when we told you it's futile? That's because it is. I bet you regret double teaming Eddie now, huh? Latino Heat's got a finisher, and Mankind gets ran into the car. Wait for it. And Eddie with a kick to the back. Ref, you better stop arguing with this man. This is a parking lot brawl, which means you can get some too. Eddie's staying on top of this big dude. Hey, Mankind, we got something to show you. Since you like being hardcore, let's show you something. A DDT into the windshield. What the hell has possessed Eddie? Shit, I'll tell you, it was that damn dirty ass sock in his mouth. Now look at this. They're back on the car. Eddie's got something else in mind involving the windshield. Oh my goodness. There's no way he can get up from that. And yet he's still moving. Crazy. All right, Eddie, this guy's got an orange head and he reverses. Mankind's got some fight left in him, but Eddie's about to stomp that out right now or break him with the car. Oh, here we go. A body slam on the car's hood. An immortal leg drop. Well, that should do it, right? No. Spear, spear, spear. And Mankind's not capitalizing on this huge advantage. The hell's wrong with him? Latino Heat with an arm drag. A very awesome arm drag. Actually, after seeing that, I tell Ricky Steamboat to pack his bags. Yours look good, Dragon. Don't get me wrong, but never that good. Anyways, Mick runs headfirst into the truck. And Eddie with a bulldog. You know, I'm surprised Mankind's last so long after what we've seen so far. I guess we better put him out of his misery then, huh? Here we go, Latino Heat with two finishers. Veteran players of this game might know what he's trying here, but will it work? No, no the hell it won't, because Eddie's missing something. But I don't think he realizes what that is just yet. Okay, yeah he does. He's got it now. So in order for this to happen correctly, some part of mankind's body must be red. And here we go. The ending you've all been waiting for. And now, if you needed any more proof on who hit Teddy, there you go. Thank you, Mr. Chimmel. And with that, that is the end of Mankind on this Legends Tour. You now will know better next time than to take that dirty ass sock and put it in Eddie's mouth. Because then, shit like this happens. Alright, so now I think that wraps up the Legends Tour. And we won every single match against those old ass fossils. Hopefully now they're buried in the past where they belong. So now that the tour is ended, that means we get a WWE Championship shot, right? That is what the coach promised, I think. I guess we're going to see that now. Here we go. Welcome back to SmackDown. What up? I followed your performance on the tour. Oh. And I've got to tell you, the coach was very impressed. You're not the only one. Oh, yeah? 
You looked great against all those legends. It was so exciting to watch you in action. You can watch us anytime. Thanks. You know, Coach, I was a little skeptical when you first asked me to go. But Hell I yeah. But I have to admit, say, it was the perfect opportunity to test my skills against some of the all-time great WWE superstars and prove myself to SmackDown fans around the world. Hey, you don't have to thank me. Nah, you got that all wrong. You're welcome. Uh... I wasn't thanking you, Holmes. So anyway, before I left, you promised me a title match. Right. And I know we've got a pay-per-view coming up in a few weeks. And I was thinking... Oh, yeah. Right. Your, your WWE title match. Uh, listen. What? I've run it past a few VIPs, and it turns out that the coach uh -oh. may have promised just a tiny bit more than he could deliver. Oh, really? So you lied. But... Don't worry. Does that man look worried to you? It's only a matter of time before the coach is named GM of SmackDown. And when that happens... Oh, shit. Listen to me very carefully, coach. You're never going to be the general manager of SmackDown. You understand? If you're offered the job, you're going to turn it down. He's Why? pissed. Why would I do that? Because as far as I'm concerned, you screwed me out of a WWE title opportunity. And if you become the GM of this brand, I will spend every Thursday from now on making your life a living hell. Comprende? Got it. Good. Damn, that performance by Eddie was amazing. I felt his anger, bro. Come on, Tori. Get back and figure out who ran down Teddy Long. This little meeting just reminds me that I've got a lot of unfinished business back on SmackDown. Oh, he's going to keep up with this, right? He's going to try to figure out who ran down Teddy when he knows exactly who did. It was him.